Hello, and welcome to how to install PIP on CentOS 7. We're going to cover a couple ways to install PIP on CentOS 7. In this tutorial, one is using yum, and the other will be using curl and python. Both instances assume that you are running on a CentOS server and are logged in as root. So let's get started. Our first step is to install the EPL repository. Luckily, we have a link here that says how to enable EPL repository. Link right here on this page. So let's go ahead and click that. What is an EPL repository, you ask? It's basically just a set of libraries that you may need for your OS. Um, enabling it on CentOS is actually fairly easy, uh, lucky for us. So um, let's go ahead and get started with that. In order to install EPL on CentOS via YUM, all you have to do is run the command sudo yum install epel release. So we're just going to copy and paste that and throw that into our command line. Is this okay? We're going to say yes. And there you go. Complete. With that out of the way, we want to go ahead and refresh our repo list by using the command sudo yum repo list. We're just going to go ahead and copy and paste that here. And we're going to go ahead and throw that into our command line like so. Okay, now that we're finished that, we're going to go ahead and move on to step two, the actual installation of pip. First, we're going to install pip via yum. If you want to install pip via curl, go ahead and skip to about the three minute mark on this video. First, we want to just make sure that our yum is up to date, so we're going to hit the command line yum-y update and just throw that in our command line and make sure we're good to go. In this case, it looks like uh, there was nothing that needed to be updated, but if you had updates, this is where they would run. With yum fully updated, we can go ahead and install pip. So we're just going to copy and paste this line here, yum-y install python-pip. And just like before, we're going to copy and paste that and throw that into our command line. Hit enter. And there we go. We've got complete. We successfully installed pip via yum. Now just to verify our work, just because it's a good idea, let's go ahead and run uh, pip-help just to make sure that we get the man page for that. Just copy and paste that into our command line to make sure everything's great. We can also have uh, pip-v, which I'm going to show you in a moment, but here's what pip-help looks like. It's pretty much the man page for pip. We want to do the same thing with pip-v, so we just copy and paste that, throw it in our command line. It should look something like this. Looks like we got Python 2.7. Um, you might have whatever latest version is out, and that's okay. Just make sure that you're good to go. And that's it. That's installing pip via yum. So feel free to stick around if you're interested in installing pip via curl with Python, or if you've jumped from the beginning of this video, you're in the right place. So to install pip via curl, we're just going to copy and paste this line that says curl and ends with get pip. And we're going to throw that into our command line and we are going to hit enter. Copy and paste that, hit enter, let it do its thing. Should be done fairly quickly. Once it's done, we're just going to go back. We're going to copy and paste the line that says python get-pip.py. Copy that, go back to our command line, paste that in, hit enter. And this one should also be done pretty quickly. You go looks like successfully installed pip and that's it that's all you have to do when you're installing pip via curl now just to verify our install we're just going to do pip v um, just make sure we're good to go and there you go you should get something like that i got python 2.7 but you might get whatever python is available at the time or what's most up to date and that's it thanks for hanging out with me this has been how to install pip on centos 7 Thanks for being with Liquid Web, home of the most helpful humans in hosting.